one police officer was shot dead and two others injured after a shooting in Dallas, Texas on Thursday evening, local police said. The incident took place at around 10.10 p.m. local time in the area of East Ledbetter Drive and South Marsalis Avenue in the Oak Cliff area of Dallas, police said in a statement early Friday. The suspect fled the scene but was shot and killed by Dallas police officers who pursued him to the 1000 block of Stemmons Freeway down I-35E in Louisville, the statement reads. One of the injured police officers passed away in the hospital from the injuries sustained in the shooting. Two other police officers were also transported to local hospitals and are currently in critical and stable conditions. Officials did not give any possible motive for the shooting and the investigation into the incident is ongoing. Russian generals are once again sending conscripts to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, part of which has been controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces since August the 6th. To fight against Ukraine, the guys have not yet received the necessary training. As reported by Astra, conscripts of the 290th Missile Regiment from the Mariel Republic of the Volga Federal District are being sent to serve in the Kursk region, part of which is controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces. It is noted that the young men are being persuaded to sign a contract and the father of a conscript from the city of Ivanovo told about being sent to the Kursk region. The mother of another soldier who was originally from the Moscow region but serves in the 290th Missile Regiment in Mariel said that her son was forced to sign a contract and go to the Kursk region. My son called and said that the command had already compiled lists for sending conscripts to the Kursk region. They answered all their questions. This is Russian territory and you must protect it. He has been serving since May of this year. He also said that they are persuading everyone to sign contracts, the woman told Astra. Similar information was shared by a journalist from Ivanovo, Alexei Mashkevich, whose son was also called up for military service in the spring. In particular, the media employee wrote on social networks that his son would soon be sent to the Kursk region. As Astra specifies, this guy is among the conscripts from the 217th Regiment of the 98th Airborne Division. And what would you feel now, patriots and not, if you found out that your son, a conscript in the Airborne Forces after the Young Fighter course, will be sent from Ivanovo to the Kursk region? Mashkevich wrote, one of the social media users supported the man. I understand you better than anyone else. I haven't been able to come to my senses for two days after seeing this news. Our sons are in the same company, she replied to Mashkevich. Another woman also commented on the journalist's message. Our children are also sent there, conscripts from Kamenka, Leningrad region, and also after the young fighter course. Unfortunately, this is the reality of our life, strength and patience, health to our son, the Russian woman wrote. As noted by the lawyers of the Military Advocates Project, according to the law, conscripts can indeed be sent to perform tasks in armed conflicts to participate in combat operations. 
However, this is possible only after they have served in the military for at least four months and after training in military specialities.